Hey guys, it's HMK once again with some more Zelda Wii U news, but not really news, a rumor, or sorry, I should say clarification on a rumor that's being spread out as news facts or whatever. Now, yes, you guys have brought this to my attention, and I'm grateful for that. But before I get into anything else, one of the things that pisses me off to no end is when someone treats rumors or theories as fact. And, you know, I got nothing against theories and rumors being spread out. I love those kind of shits, and then I love to think about stuff. But, I mean, if it's not confirmed, if you don't have any credible source or citation behind it, it must be treated as such. That being said, there's this rumor, and I shall address this as a rumor throughout the entire video. This is rumor going around that Zelda NX is confirmed for 2016, and Nintendo NX is confirmed for 2016. Now, the person who broke this out is known as Super Metal Dave 64, who owns a site known as Ninten Nintengen, right? And he broke this out saying that he has a credible source within Nintendo. He verified the name, he verified the worker, he verified the relationship with Nintendo, and they broke out the no news to him that Zelda NX is being confirmed as a launch title for NX, which is releasing in the holiday season alongside Zelda Wii U and stuff. And then he goes on and rambles a lot about uh, Zelda Wii U, not Zelda Wii U, but Wii U tiles that are being held in secret that Nintendo 3DS is going to get a lot more support this um, in the second half of 2016. Now, since then, uh, a lot of people has been, can, has been taking this as fact, and I've seen this covered by a number of sites, now, not too many, but a number of sites uh, with some sites pertaining to Zelda, and I find it odd that some of these sites are referring to this as fact when they have no citation whatsoever, no citation, no proof or anything, and this guy uh, claims that he has a contact within Nintendo that gave him all this information. Now, the fact that the fact that people take this as fact kind of boggles my mind a little bit because one, we have we don't even know what the NX is. We have no confirmation of what it is. The specs, everything we've learned about the NX through like you know patents or whatever, that's all. Rumor and speculation at this point. There is nothing concrete about the NX except that the NX is. And another thing that is confirmed about the NX is that it's a completely new system, a completely new experience aside from the Wii U and the 3DS. Alright, and that's why I shall spin into Zelda NX and the whole Zelda Wii U argument in a little bit. And we don't know what it is, we don't know if it's coming 2016 or not. All we know is that Nintendo is going to show something about it at this year's E3, and even that is a little bit shady. And you're telling me that a confirmation of this console releasing this year comes to a guy, and trust me, I got none against Super Mario Dave, I got none against Nintendo Gen, but you're telling me this information is going to come out of literally a random YouTuber, no numbers, I'm not taking numbers aside or anything, you can have all the connections and numbers don't mean a thing, some random YouTuber. This is gonna come out, and it's not gonna come out of some sort of like financial report, a financial analyst, a quarterly report where Nintendo has to talk with their investors. We're not gonna get information from that. We're not gonna get information from a YouTuber like this. Any YouTuber, you can have a million subscribers or not. I will not, I would rather not take your word for it if you don't have any type of physical evidence or citations or anything like that. Okay, that's it's just logic at this point. Okay? And to say that Zelda NX, and there's and this spins the whole argument that Zelda Wii U will be a launch title for uh, will also be a launch title for Zelda NX. They're being co-developed. I understand the point of that being that oh, the reason why they kept delaying Zelda Wii U, not only just for the 30th anniversary, is so that they could also co-develop it alongside the and and an NX version to you know capitalize on the NX launch market in order to give it the boost that the Wii U never had and they did it with Twilight Princess before so they might get the Twilight Princess treatment. The one, the biggest thing, the biggest thing that I use against an argument like that is that I really don't believe that the NX at, 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 in any regard is going to be backwards compatible with the Wii U or anything Wii U related and the reason being is because of the gamepad. And they said time and time again that Zelda Wii U is being developed for the Wii U, specifically for Wii U, Legend of Zelda for Wii U. The same way how they refer to Skyward Sword in development that this game is being developed specifically for the Wii. That being said, the NX, we don't know if the NX is going to have any type of gamepad equivalent. And the way that Nintendo President uh, Kimishima says that 
This is going to be an entirely new experience. Back when Satoru Iwata was still with us, he even stated that the NX, and a lot of people have been saying that the NX from Nintendo, the NX is going to be a completely different experience, that um, they're trying something new, something fresh. Of course, it's going to probably uh, bring a new gimmick. That being said, they say it's some aside from the Wii U, it's not going to be the next Wii, it's not going to be the next Wii U, it's not going to be Super Wii U or anything like that, the Wii 3, whatever. That with, with that type of information, I really don't believe that any type of Wii U game is going to be compatible with NX. That being said, I feel that it's going to be very hard to develop something that's going to incorporate the gamepad so much, according to Nint uh, Nintendo and Zelda developers, that they're going to take something like that and put it on the NX. How are they gonna take how are they gonna take the technology that they needed for the Wii U gamepad on Zelda Wii U over to the NX? For me, it doesn't make sense. Yes, it's logical from a, from a financial standpoint where they want to give it the extra boost, but at the same time, they did say that the Wii U is gonna still get support after the NX launches. And we don't even know when the NX is gonna launch. I personally don't believe it's gonna launch anytime in 2016. I bank on a 2017 release because of course they're gonna show up. Uh, E3 2016, and they're gonna have to give some time in order for promotion, show what it off, uh, show it off, uh, hand out more dev kits to developers. Even though some developers claim to have dev kits already, whatever. I'm di I'm mad digressing right now, but to to say that it's confirmed with any type, without any type of citation proof or anything, like that, just saying that oh yeah, I have a contact in the top. That's not good enough. That's not good enough to use the word confirmation or confirm. That's basically yelling out, yeah guys, I got my, my uncle works in Nintendo. I'm totally, I totally know this is happening. It's, it, it, it's a thing, it's, it's confirmed. My uncle told me, he made sure he told me so. So what I'm either thinking is that one, uh, this dude Super Metal Dave either made up the story or two, someone messed with him very, very badly to the point that he believed it. And that's the only things I got. All right, that either made it, he either made it up or someone claiming that he's from Nintendo reached out for him and then he felt that, oh, this information is too good to be true, it'll really help out my channel and the fact that he's coming to me, I feel very honored, yes, I'll cover this to no end. I'm going to be the one to break out this story. I felt he was really excited about it and that's, uh, and that's one of the possibilities of what happened. But you cannot say it's confirmed unless you bring us some proof. All right, just saying that, hey, it's there doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. You're gonna have to give us some proof. You're gonna have to have some credibility behind you or anything like that. It's not like he broke out a story like this and called something right before on this channel. I've checked. And um, the fact that he says that I have a website and that's why they came to me and I'm not owned by any type of MCN or any type of uh, company so they felt me to be the right choice to break out the information. That doesn't make sense. Why not break out the information themselves? Hell, Nintendo has Nintendo Minute, Nintendo Direct, all that stuff. GDC is next month. Alright, it does not make sense whatsoever, and the fact that people believe this really concerns me. Alright, I'm not saying this guy can be wrong or right. All I'm saying is that until I see something, until I see some type of citation or proof or clarification, I'm not going to believe it until I see something. Sure, if you regard it as a rumor, that's fine. I'll, rumors are fun, rumors are covered, and we'll have to see if it's debunked or denied, but do not use the word confirmation or say that it's confirmed all right that shit fucking grinds my gears to no end all right and guys for those who believe it you know do a little bit of research before you get all hyped up and all that stuff sure i love to believe rumors i when especially when they're sounding good but i will not to this end of the earth confirm a rumor until i have proof about it all right so guys that being said Make sure you do the research. I wish I could say, you know, like until the next Zelda news or until the next Zelda rumor. But I mean, like, this re this really got me out there. Like, like what? I hope you enjoyed this video. And next time, when it comes to rumors, clarifications, or other stuff, do a little bit of research first. And if it's a rumor, mark it as a rumor. Say it's a rumor. We good. If it's a rumor and you say it's confirmed. We ain't good. So until the next video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.